Hello and welcome back. It's great to see you back here. So we are in Old Prodigy yet again. We are going to be uh, talking to Bach and beginning this quest. Check in the description if you would like to find out how to sign into Old Prodigy and watch my first video to go ahead and uh, hear you know some of the, the the steps that you need to take to sign in. Always check with your parents before signing into a new program uh, so they are aware of what you are doing be safe out there guys all right let's talk with bach oh and be sure to like and subscribe it's super helpful only takes a couple seconds with two furnaces on bach throne room should be open and bach can be king of mountain again but before i go check throne room for bach make sure it's safe all right, I am really excited to see what the throne room in Old Prodigy looks like. Um, really excited to kind of get up here and take a look. So we're gonna come on up over here. We get to go through this way, just like New Prodigy. Um, so there's a shortcut that is right here. My draggling is getting a little bit low. I think that we should be able to get one of these off for uh, razor fire out. Um, and let's see what happens with rascal here that was a weak attack so it looks like we, we are still doing okay but we are going to go ahead and switch it up and come on over and groupie is going to use pummel which i'm really enjoying that spell um in order to go ahead and finish off this rascal and then we will be through the cave into the different uh areas all right so we won now let's go ahead and open this chest up and see what we have inside 100 gold coins and hopefully we have some leveling up here happening we're still a little ways away our levels are getting a little bit low we may end up um uh losing and that is okay losing a battle and then we'll go ahead and uh reset ourselves if that happens no problem at all we do have a wizard to fight up here so this will probably be a relatively tough battle let's go ahead and check it out and see how we do all right yeah the academy we will not be able to go to the academy until we complete all of the different areas so once we finish shiver chill mountain the shiver chill gem will unlock skywatch so we'll head over to skywatch after that um, but until then funky is water so water is going to be strong against draggling so i do not want draggling to expire so we're going to head on over switch over to rupee and see how this works out all right let's see if we can pummel fun keel and let's see how that turns out okay looks like fun keel is heading out rutherford aqua fencer is going to get a pummeling as well and let's see how this turns out all right, he looks like Peter Pan. Rutherford Aquafencer, Agua Fencer, I believe, is Peter Pan. So let's go ahead and attack again with a pummeling. And I think Rupee is going to say goodbye. We will see what happens here. That is a miss. So we might actually be able to scrape off with a battle, but with a battle win here, and then we might run into trouble our next encounter. Is this, nope, it's not enough to send Rutherford Aqua Fence, Agua Fencer um, out of here. And let's go ahead and do, let's, let's send him with a mud ball. Bam, there we go. See you later, buddy. Okay. Now Cloud Nibbler is coming, and Cloud Nibbler, Cloud Nibbler looks pretty similar. That's cool. Um, let's go ahead and attack here, and we'll pummel Cloud Nibbler. This is going to be our last tick attack if Cloud Nibbler does hit then Rupee is going to be running away, but they're switching things up a little bit, making it easy for us. We'll just go ahead and pummel Funkiel to make sure that we uh, have the best opportunity to move on to a, a little bit further down the road. All right, so Rupee is done for. Let's go ahead and switch over to, you know, let's go ahead and switch over to Fish Roll and have Fish Roll attack with a Leaf Wind. And hopefully Leaf Wind will be enough to send Cloud Nibbler running away. It's not, so Fischl is probably going to be running away here, but that's okay. We get to choose our, let's go to Clip Clop, and we get to choose our, and then attack as well. So let's go to Leaf Wind again, 
Love how he just blew on his attack horn, calling all of the leaves in for battle, and that's enough to send Cloud Nibbler away. We have a River Caller now, so this is looking a little bit sketchy. Luckily, River Caller missed when he called rain. No rain fell on Clip Clop, so um, not sure what's going on with River Caller, but yeah. All right, so here come the leaves, and they are the powerful, which is great. Here's a rainy day. So this should be weak if it ever lands. Um, looks like the rainy day is having a little bit too much sunshine in it. All right, so here come the leaves, and that should be enough to hit and send River Caller away. We won, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. 300 gold coins. Enigma. I think this is our second Enigma. I'm going to click no for that. And let's go ahead and level these guys up a little bit. And look at that. Awesome. So Clip Clop, it jumped a level. So his health will be returned. And all right, let's head on in here. And see if we can go ahead and get... Let's see if we need to go into the cave a little bit further still. So let's head on up. Take a look around. All right, see if we can get into this chest here. We're gonna be getting into a fight. And I don't think we'll, I'm just kind of not feeling strong about this fight. So let's see if, how much damage Dragling can do. If Dragling can make it two rounds, then we might be good. I'm gonna let Dragling stay in as long as possible here though. Um, so if Dragling gets another hit off, that's powerful against Dragling and sends him running away. Okay, so. Now let's go ahead and move over to Sprite and have Sprite attack. Let's do Bolt and see what that does. That's weak. Okay, so poor choice there. Water Bubble. And it pops, sending us down to the ground, but Sprite bounces, so it is weak. Attack with Leaf Wind. All right, the leaves, my friends, are blowing in the wind. And Arctic Claw is looking like we might win. That's good. This is going to be weak again. It's enough to send Sprike away, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and call in Clip Clop. And then have Clip Clop attack with Leaf Wind. Blow that wind. Clip Clop. Blow that wind. All right, here we go. And Arctic Claw is going to be running away. So we have won this battle. That is awesome. We're making slow, slow progress as we head on up 100 gold coins. And let's see. All right, so we have two people left with health. So we will be losing a battle very soon. Let's open up this chest. Frostbeard's Clasp. Okay, I think we can go ahead and wear this. This is the blue level armor. So that is great. Nice and strong for us. Okay, so we need to make our way through. I don't think we can get around this first guy here, but we should be able to kind of eke our way around that side if we make it through this battle. All right, so Rupee is starting out. Let's go ahead and pummel first and see if Clip Clop can go ahead and finish this up, which Clip Clop is the new Trip Trap. All right, Ice Prison and goodbye, Rupee. All right, so it is now, oh, this is, yeah, this is Clip Clop. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with attack and blow the leaves in. And let's see what happens with Ice Sneak here. Um, all right, so one more attack and we'll be able to get Ice Sneak if it lands. Uh, took about a heart and a half away from Ice Sneak. So let's see if we can go ahead and finish this battle up and hopefully find a power crystal before we need to return and then we'll sort ourselves out all right so we did it i can't believe we're still going let's open up this chest and clip clop might actually level up here i think all of the stars are going to him nope not quite all right so worms rest is the name of this location let's head on up here see if we can make our way around and it looks like we can. Cool. 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 All right. So here we are. We need to go this way. I don't think we'll be able to get past this guy. Nope, we are not. And so let's see 
how Clip Clop handles this situation. We've got, oh, Rupee has half a heart again, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and attack and pummel. And so with Rupee gaining half a heart there, we might actually be able to go ahead and pull this off. After the pummeling, Rupee's gonna run away. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll come on over here to Clip Clop and then we will attack with our leaf wind, calling in the leaf warriors and see what they do. So, heart and a half. So after this, oh, and Ice Sneak is choosing to heal. So it looks like we're gonna have another two hits that we're gonna need to do in order to uh, break down Ice Sneak. And so this is gonna be half, heart and a half. And Ice Prison is coming our way. Let's see how much damage that gives us. All right, that was quite a whopping, but all we need to do is hit one more time. And one more Leaf Wind. The Leaf Riders will come in and uh, Leaf Ice Sneak. So Ice Sneak is running away. We have one. The terrifying leaves blowing in Ice Sneak's face have uh, caused us to win the battle. That's awesome. 100 gold coins here. And there we go, level 21. So, uh, ooh, Clip Clop learned, what'd you learn? Absorb, okay, so the ability to pull the health from an opponent and absorb it into himself. Let's make our way over here and see where we end up after we go through, oh, trigger the battle. Wonderful, let's see what happens here. All right, so Rupee has the half a heart again. Start out with a pummeling. And we might make it through this battle. We might be making it through this battle. Okay, starts out with Glacial Shield, so we still have Rupee. So let's go ahead and hop on for another pummeling. And that is looking good. Two and a half hearts left for Ice Sneak. That misses. Wow, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Is this it? Did Rupee, Rupee pulled it off. Wow, awesome. So we have won this battle. That is great. Let's go ahead and open this up and get our gold. And let's see, is Rupee gonna level up? Cause that would heal all of the hearts. And no, oh man, man, it's like one star away. Ooh, okay, that was exciting. Let's make our way through here, and there's the power crystal. I'll bet that's the throne room, but it looks like the entrance is still frozen. It does, doesn't it? Look there! It's another power crystal! We can light another furnace! Yes! Awesome! Nice eagle eyes newt. That is awesome. <gasps> what is that? Oh no! The ice worm got it. Or maybe not. I guess the worm is still around. Oh man, I thought we beat it. All finished. Let's head back, okay? All right, we will head back in just one quick second. We are going to come on over here, get this frozen something or another, and then we will go ahead and head back here, talk to uh, Bach, and then finish up this episode. Bach will probably Throw tell us what we still be doing. frozen? And worm eat last power crystal? This not good. It's not good at all, Bach. Not good at all. 100 gold, awesome. Okay, Bach have plan. I bet the bird's gonna have a better plan than you, buddy. Packer. Oh, hey. Bach have good plans sometimes. Lots of times. No, he doesn't. Monster eat crystals. So wizard go collect lots of crystals Lure, monster, defeat, and get crystal. Off you go, hero wizard. That's actually a, not a bad plan at all. I think that might work. All right, so we are going to be trying to lure this ice monster out, this ice worm out, in order to defeat it. But we're doing that by finding crystals, power crystals, in order to 
lure it out so that we can go ahead and restore Box Throne. Okay, Box Box Home, so that he can gain his kingdom back. We're going to be doing that next video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. It's super helpful. You'll know when stuff like this is coming out. And I will see you guys in our next episode of Old Prodigy, okay? Take care. Keep on prodigying on. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.